So today I'm gonna to do a side-by-side -side comparison of four different ways to steam milk. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I have this manual espresso machine called the Flare, which is what I'm gonna be using to make all my shots of espresso today. Um, but the thing that it lacks is the ability to steam or throth milk. So I wanted to kind of compare some side-by-side -side comparisons to what you can um, see and whether or not these different machines um, can produce latte art. Um, if you're into that or and what the difference is and um, why you would choose one machine over the other. So the first one I'm going to be doing is the Breville Milk Cafe, um, which is this huge jug that's a push button start. It costs about $129, give or take, depending on where you buy it. The second thing I'm going to do is the Nespresso Ericino, I believe, 3, which is made by Nespresso. It costs about $75 on Amazon. Um, the third thing that I'm going to be doing is the French press method where you throw a French press in a microwave and plunge it. Um, that's going to cost about $25 with a thermometer as well from Amazon. And then you're, and I'm also going to do lastly the $90 Bellman steamer, which is a stovetop steamer that's very more traditional. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video and I hope that this is something that you guys will benefit from. So first off, we have the Breville Milk Cafe at $129. So we're going to start this one off with a the cappuccino or the latte disc. We have the latte disc and the cappuccino disc. So this one's the latte disc. The one thing that's nice about this is you can set the temperature of this uh, milk cafe. The thing is huge, so you can store a lot of milk in it for um, a, a huge amount of lattes. Um, and you can also do a cold store. So right now I'm pouring the latte um, disc milk into um, an actual milk jug. And let's see if we can actually get some art with um, the Breville Milk Cafe. Now I noticed right off the bat that the milk really separated from the foam in um, the Breville Milk Cafe, so it was kind of hard to kind of swirl that and get that back together. And it's really, really hard to get that milk to show up through the, there we go, it looks like we're getting a little bit there, but still not, not near the, enough to really actually get any, at least I couldn't get any art from it. But at least there's like a little, little contingence with it. Um, so after that, we're gonna go ahead and move forward to me attempting art with the cappuccino disc in it. Um, so it is kind of nice that it has a couple different features along with it. Um, very convenient. This one has a lot more foam than the uh, latte one, as it should. Um, but it does have like a lot of very convenient features with it. Um, that's pretty much all foam. That's huge. That's so much foam. I can't even get the, I can barely even see a swirl um, going on in this with how much foam was created from that disc. Now I feel like I have to use a lot, a lot of milk. If I want to make a flat white or a small drink, I feel like I'm getting way, way too much foam because there's a minimum of eight ounces of milk that you have to use for it. And when I'm only making a six ounce drink, I feel like I'm very, very wasteful on the amount of milk that I use. So I still can't even really get that foam together it just kind of like is just so so foamy so I guess if you want to call it latte art there's a cloud for you that's about all I could get with that the next off is this is the Nespresso Ericino um, Ericino I believe 3 Nespresso Ericino 3 I believe if I pronounced that correctly now this sits on a nice little base it should have a pour spout but it doesn't um, a nice thing is you can also do a cur um, cold store, um, cold stir with it as well. Um, although I haven't really tried that yet. Um, the nice thing I like it is this already makes a lot smaller drinks than the um, Breville. So it kind of depends on how big of drinks you usually make. Um, I'm not sure if this one would be suitable for a full latte. I haven't fully tried that out. Um, but this is again, uh, let's see if we can make some art with a flat white. Now, it felt like originally that I could do it, um, but as you'll see here in just a second, it's a lot harder than I expected it to do. It looked really good foam, but 
again I got a nice little cloud there um, going on there um, but that was retailing at I believe 70 75 bucks on Amazon so next up we have the um, Bodum French press this Bodum French press I heated up in the microwave for about a minute 30 so you got to specifically get a French press that does not have any metal on it outside of the plunger so it's just straight glass and plastic heated it up for a minute and a half it got to 160 um, so I kind of use a thermometer that's about eight dollars on Amazon and a um, fifteen dollar French press so I'm in about I'm in it for about twenty dollars twenty five bucks um, just put it in the microwave and plunged it a little bit and um, to see if I could get some some foam out of it and it did heat up nice and well um, in the microwave so that was nice um, and just point it into my milk jug and let's see if we can get some art this is about um, an eight ounce Stanley um, cup so very similar to what I've been trying to do with the prior to as I did like smaller flat white type style of drink um, or actually this one's more of a smaller latte but let's see if we can get some art with this there we go that pulled through a lot nicely now granted I'm not very talented at art but at least we do see that contrast in the French press so for 25 bucks not too bad performed pretty well in that um, the last one that we have up here is the Bellman melt steamer I believe you can find this for $90 on Prima Coffee the nice thing about this thing is you can replace every single part and it mocks a traditional um, steam wand um, the downside to it is it heats it takes forever to heat up this is the longest by far of the three we got the other ones probably running in a, um, around a minute for the Breville and the Nespresso which didn't take too long um, minute and a half for the French press one um, but this one took uh, uh, like 20 minutes to heat up on the stove from cold water um, but the nice thing is it does feel very very traditional um, and you get the opportunity to really kind of um, steam milk for yourself so it's a lot more hands-on experience if you kind of one of the people that like that hands-on style of stuff um, and let's see here so this isn't one of the best times I've ever steamed with it just for the fact that um, I was trying to move this video camera while I was doing it um, so it looks like we got some decent steamed milk um, from that usually you're supposed to purge and clean um, the steam wand off which I kind of did that outside of this video um, so pour my shot in from the flare and let's see if we can get some art with this um, the Bellman steam oops well now that one didn't I usually you're not supposed to get the milk in the container until you or in the cup until you start pouring it but uh, let's just have a whirl at it anyway see if we can get something um, so there you go right off the bat you can kind of start to see the contrast easily better than any of the other ones um, the French press definitely comes closer but this is by far the best quality of milk that I got um, and the best looking art that I got too granted I'm not good at art but you can really really get that contrast to go through and you can really notice the taste difference from the heated and steamed or the heated method of it versus the um, actual um, steam method of it after comparing these four different price points going from the $25 French press to the 75 Nespresso Arachino to the 129 um, Melt Cafe from Breville and the $90 steamer from Bellman. It really just kind of depends on what you like um, the best and what meets your needs. If you're looking for large drinks, that Melt Cafe does work nice with the touch of the button. Um, the Nespresso I honestly liked a little bit better than the um, Melt Cafe, um, but it only makes small drinks. The steamer by far performed better than any of them but it took a longest time if you're going for quick and wanting to get latte art the french press is definitely the way to go but if you're really looking for good quality i would definitely go to the um to the bellman steamer out of all of them that's by far my favorite um, i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you find it useful um, and uh, look forward to more videos in the future